<laughs> Come on inside. What's going on everyone? So today we are at the Legacy Home Show here in Fort Worth, Texas, and we're getting ready to check out another one of their beautiful single wides. So let me get you outside and I'll tell you all about it. All right, so we kind of showcased uh, this model last year and it was super cool. I loved it because you got the little doggy door right here, which is really neat. Uh, I love the layout of the single wide overall. It is a three bedroom, two bath. It's approximately 1,068 square feet. So if you're looking for kind of a smaller home, this uh, is going to fit the bill. I absolutely love it. Uh, you got the two doors here on the front of the home. You got this nice gray vinyl siding here with the black shutters, which looks really good. And then we'll go ahead and start working our way around to the side of the home. Now, as we're walking around the home, if you do want any more information on this model or legacy housing, I'll leave that information for you down in the description as well as over at timothyplivingston.com where you can find this floor plan as well as all the floor plans that we've toured across the country. And you can see if they are built in your area. And I think we're pushing like 250 something homes right now. So even if we've toured them in like say Wisconsin or even these guys here in Texas, uh, we do tag them with the other states that they are available in. So that's pretty neat. Uh, coming around back, you do have one window right here. I think this is coming out of, uh, I wanna say maybe the bathroom, or not the bathroom, but the living room area. And then you do have the condenser for your mini split right here. And these things are stout. They've kept them so nice and cool throughout all of these uh, days down here at the show. We've loved them. So get back around front and then we will get inside. But first, let's go ahead and check out the outside of this doggy door right here. Cause gosh, I wish Ada had a doggy door and be able to come in, in and out on her own. She's always standing at the door. It's crazy. All right, let's get inside. All right, so when you first walk in this, well, we walked in through the back door. Ooh, there's Jen. So, I walk wide. <laughs> you're fine. Jen's got some boots on, so she's clunking everywhere. She's getting the pictures for the blog post right now, so that's super cool. But this is the, the back door. You got the little pet door down here to the left-hand side. Um, and I wanted to do it a little bit different because we always come into the homes and immediately see you know, the, the kitchen and the living room and stuff. So checking it out a little bit different. Across from the back door though, you do have uh, like this nice cleaning closet or coat closet. Uh, and then from there, it opens up towards this half of the home into all the secondary bedrooms as well as the bathroom and laundry room. The first of the two bedrooms sits right here off of uh, the back door. Plenty of room in here. It's a good size. You do have the open closet right here, so you can put a little dresser over there if you wanted to. And then from here, across the hall, you have your washer and dryer hookups with a nice little shelf up above it. And uh, stick around to the end of this video because I will give you the price point. A lot of these homes are great prices, uh, which is super nice to see. A little bit of affordability um, coming back into the market, I think. Of course, we've been touring some stuff that's it's been up there for a minute, so good to see that. You do have a nice medicine cabinet here in the bathroom. Uh, I love the amount of space uh, on the vanity itself. You do have the single sink in here, but plenty of counter space. And then you do have a shower and tub combo. Let's see if the faucet is on. Nope, the faucet is on this side. So you do have a removable shower head in here and then plenty of little shelves also. And then I like this back bedroom. I always thought it was pretty cool, especially if you have a couple little kids. Um, this is the second bedroom. It's got a window back behind us, and I'll turn around and show you that in a minute. But the two beds are divided by this little partition wall right here, which is pretty neat. And then you can see the window over there. And then the closet, again, back here is open, but you have some shelves on either side. And then great spot to put their toy boxes and stuff. And probably put a dresser on either side of a little nightstand table or something in here. But let me know what you would do with it down in the comments. I always love reading that stuff. And then we will work our way into the main living area. And at the end of the hall, we come to the kitchen. So plenty of cabinets in here and a great big peninsula. Uh, you got a little bit of a raised bar on this side, which I think is super stellar. Um, Sometimes you see the great big ones, but I like how subtle this one is. It's pretty nice. 
uh, but plenty of seating around it as well. You do have the sink built right into the peninsula, so you will be looking out into your living room. Of course, if you have this many chairs around it, you're probably doing some uh, socializing and stuff with some friends anyway, so of course you're going to want to talk to them and hang out with them. You do have a dishwasher right here, and then you put your trash can over here or like your pet food or maybe a pet bed or something. And then on the opposite side, again, plenty of cabinetry. This would be your pantry, so some shelves up top. And then on the bottom, again, you could probably put your trash can over here if you wanted to. And then you have your refrigerator. And then we'll open up some of these cabinets as well. Plenty of space in there. These bottom ones go way back there. And then you also have your stove and built-in microwave sitting just above that. And then coming around the corner of the peninsula, bam, we open up into this living room, which is actually pretty spacious. I'll go ahead and stand in front of the front door. So this is actually kind of your view from the front door, which is, it's nice. It's still got that open kind of concept to it. But, you know, for those of you that don't want to see the kitchen when you walk in, you know, just use the back door and you're good to go. But plenty of room in here. You could probably put the TV over here if you wanted to. Uh, get the couch back here. Put a little recliner over on that side. There's a bunch of things you could do. And then right off of that, you come into the master bedroom. So this thing spans the whole width of the home itself. Great big area in here. And again, uh, it does have enough room for a king-sized bed, which is pretty nice. Great big window over here letting in a bunch of light too. And then the closet, again, I, uh, we have been seeing that a lot lately. Luckily, not in any of these legacy homes so far. Uh, the closets are not in the bathroom. But they are nice and big closets. I can get all the way in here, turn around. Got some shelving in here too. And then around the corner from this is the master bathroom. Again, you have a single vanity in here, but plenty of counter space on the vanity itself. Another nice medicine cabinet too. These things are so handy. And then you've got uh, your toilet and a shower and tub combo back here with another removable shower head. And you got a little shelf over here too uh, for all of your accoutrements all right let me know what you think about this home down in the comments if you want any more information on this model or legacy housing i'll leave that information for you in the description as well as over at timothyplivingston.com where you can find more information on this home as well as all the homes that we've toured across the country and you can see if they're built in your area as far as the price goes as shown this home is approximately seventy six thousand dollars of course that may or may not be the price that you pay if you decide to make this home yours uh, just keep that in mind. Prices can change due to a whole wide variety of reasons. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for hanging out. My name is Timothy. I will see your beautiful face in the next one.